Hello YouTube, Jeff the Fifth Guy here, welcome back to a new episode of the Fiorentina career mode. We have two hours remaining of deadline day in January and we might make some more silence but in this episode we are also going to be versing Piemonte Calcio, which is Juventus, if you didn't know. But yeah, we're going to be facing Juventus in today's episode. Uh, but first, we are going to have a look at some players that we could possibly sign. This Tanami guy is really good. He's a decent guy. Uh, he's a good guy. Ferrari, I think. Again, they do want to see his class. Yeah, honestly, I'll be working on all of it. Um, I'm sort of looking for some free transfers or some loaners. Like, there's a the bonus because we don't really have the money to make any big signings right now. Uh, That's weird. Arsenal have signed back Carlos Vera. And they have Piatti. They seem to like the MLS by the way. But uh, yeah, let's have a look at these players that uh, I've just got with it. So, Corey, can we loan him in? No, we can't. Rene Adelaide, we can't loan him in. Tonali, okay. But look at that, look at this. 11 million to 17 million. We could afford that, I think. Let's go after him. He's a beast. So let's just straight up offer 11 million. And if they ask more, ask for more, I'll see what I can do. So, let's say 11 million. We want to start this. Okay, remove the sound card. Up that to 12. How about that? Okay, now we want more for the money. Let's say his value then. We'll accept that. Okay. So I've got like two million left over. Negotiate. Okay, I wonder what his wages are gonna be looking like because I did not check that. Yeah, let's go sporadic. Important. Rotation. He wants to be important. You can get benched though still. He's 19, so let's go five years. Yes, he's happy with that. No release clause. Let's go 22,000. Okay, I've totally overpaid there. But uh, Tonali has joined the club. The young Italian. Let's uh, see what rating he is at 19 years of age. 77, that's pretty good. That actually is really good. He's like close to coming in our starting 11 very soon. But anyway, let's simulate the rest of this. Broken down negotiations for Sikowski. Yeah. Let's 
been a while since I've done one of these episodes, so some of these transfers must look, might look a little bit weird to me. Uh, okay. He's not looking that good. But here we go, guys. We're coming up against you, Enter. Okay, that's weird. So now he's got the captain's trap. Right. Okay. Fidel's Fidel's actually been really good. So let's drop Polgar for this game. Which might actually ruin our chances of beating Juventus here because we're dropping one of our starting men. So we'll go into the press conference and tell them our thoughts. After Smalling's acquisition from Man United fan Tegli awaiting to see him grace the field, what do you expect from his debut against Piemonte? Yeah. It can take a while to settle in, he will be good for the team. After Tonali's acquisition, right, more or less the same thing, uh, he could wind up losing confidence, he'll prove he's the right man. Right man. The recent form suggests he'll be able to stay clear of the bottom of the table if you have enough depth in your squad to maintain your moment, momentum. So it's responsible to try our momentum as a drop in. I hope this whole squad can help him. So it's responsible to try. I mean, I don't want to get relegated because I will just fire myself. But here we go, guys. Let's get into this game against right, the uh, This is how you bet this a line off. Uh, let's serve you a bullet or Fabio Diago and the two in the field. Both of these two are not sure that they're going to have an hour down the middle of Dive Valley. That is a very strong team. Difficult to beat. Can Prince? Can Prince? What a goal! Oh, <laughs> that was a beauty finish. And we're 1 0 up against Juventus. Oh my god. I thought he absolutely skied it. But what a finish in the top right corner on his left. This is fourth goal in the Serie A. And there we go guys, 1-0 at the halftime break to Fiorentina. And I'm actually playing good football. I just want to quickly check something because, oh my god, Tonali on his debut is having the game of his life. A 9 rated. Holy moly Tonali. We've made an epic signing right there. Let's go and sell a red card. Oh, it was a silly tackle. He just got rid of the ball on time. In my opinion, that's not a red card, but that's just because I'm completely biased. Oh, crap. That is bullshit! The keeper saved it as well! He just couldn't... That's a foul! Oh, right, you've been giving them fouls all game! And you don't give me a single one referee! What is that bullshit? <sighs> we bottled it, guys. Tonali gets a man of the match performance. He gets an assist on his debut, 12 out of 14 passes completed, 12 out of 13 dribbles completed, 1 out of 1 tackles. Okay. We'll go into a post-match interview. How unlucky we were to not beat Juventus there. It's unbelievable. I think it's mostly because Kevin Prince Bulletin got sent off and the referee was fucking us all the whole game. Smalling did have a good game.
Right then, guys. Um, I sort of put off the impression that uh, I was only going to be playing Juventus in this episode, but because I'm wanting to actually get a win this episode, and I feel like this team is a very strong team, I I'm going to go ahead and play this game against Atlanta. I mean, I might as well. The 10th in the league. Boateng suspended, so we'll put on... Yes, I can play a striker. Right. What foot is he? Right footed. Both right footed. Okay, Boateng will have to sit this one out, so we'll go ahead and put on Dufresnay. We'll give Fidel a rest this game and play Paul Guy instead. And yes guys, we'll go ahead and play this match. I'll right see you at guys, the line. As you've already seen, this is the Fiorentina lineup. Very strong at the back I feel now. Tonali with that man the match performance against Juventus when we most needed it. And then Boateng has been dropped because he's suspended. But this is the Atlanta lineup. Three at the back the players. Skirtle the turtle is at Atlanta. Gomez and who's the two strikers? Zapata and Marlon from PSV. That's a strong attack. Let's get this game on the way. Give over referee. I mean, at least it's not carding them. But again, I feel like that's not foul. He could score this free kick right here. Yeah, and he has. 1 0 to Atlanta. Malinovsky scores it. Yes, sir. That's a red card, ref. What? They've given off side. That was a foul. Oh, this game's gonna make me lose the plot. Kessa makes it one all with a terrific run. Get in. That is what I need from a striker. Tonali with the assist. Again. Tonali is a man in form right now. But what a run Kessa just made. Don't let him get the kick off goal, please. Don't do this to me, please. No. That's great from Chris Smalling. Right, there we go. One all at the half time break, lads. And masses. Very even game, it says on the sheet, but I feel like I've fully controlled this game. Ice Rick is coming off with Benassi and that's the changes that we're going to make. Nope. And there we go. We've lost this match. All because of Kwame really. And there we go. We lose to Atlanta 2-1. When we fully dominated the game. Fully dominated it. I'm not very happy with this team. Like, some players perform like absolute gems, but then someone else is just playing like a flipping slug. Right, I mean, I have 
to see a good stuff about them, otherwise they'll perform even worse. Which is stupid. Honestly, it's the most stupid thing ever. Why am I not allowed to say a bad thing about them when they are actually performing like absolute morons? But anyway guys, next episode we are going to be versing Sampdoria. Kwame is going to sit this one out because he's been an absolute knobhead. And we'll put him on the bench. And yeah, he'll sit the match against Sampdoria out and hopefully we'll perform somewhat better. But if you did enjoy this episode, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.